You ready for me to fire up? Yeah. All right. OK, here we go. Shake it first. All right. The shaker draws a lot of power. If we turn everything on at once, we'll blow the generator up. That long conveyor. All good? Yeah. Speed bin. Yeah! We got a recon motor. Jammed it on. Working a treat. I'm going to get some dirt in the lighter. Yeah, kill him, man. All right. This year, we unfortunately lost our claims to uh, rain damage. That's a lot of mud, man. This is special. We've got a lot of pressure to make sure that we keep the opal coming in. Halfway through the mining season, the Mooka boys have been forced to transport opal-bearing dirt to their noodler at Hallian Hill from their claim on the treacherous opal field, Horse Paddock. Our season target's uh, 150,000. We're only at about 40,000 so far. This season come with a lot of added pressures. Boys, I got a little bit of news. Looks like I'm going to be a daddy. Is it yours? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I really need this opal now. Yeah, babies do take a lot. <laughs> yeah, bloody oath. Opal mining is bloody hard work, but it's a thrill of the chase. And you get to supply the world with some of the, you know, the best quality opal that you know, Australia can produce. Hey, Life, it's starting to open up here. We're getting out, bub. We've struggled quite hard. No one actually pays us an hourly rate to work here. If we don't find opal, there's no food on the table. Yeah, we believe the big wind's just around the corner. Yeah. 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 All right, the bell's lighting up. Life Tanza inherited their opal processing plant, known as a noodler, from his late father, Paul. It was hand built by my mum and dad around 38 to 40 years ago. A lot of sweat and tears and yelling, but it got done. Powered by a 40 year old generator, the ageing system uses shakers to remove dust and dirt from freshly mined rock, and conveyors take it into the black room. Here we go, all right. They wait for this for a while. Where UV light causes water in the opal to fluoresce. Usually you'll see uh, a whole heap of glowing rocks all over this belt. We go and nuts to pick them all up. Nothing like a bit of colour to pick up morale. We got so let's hope this goes all right. We need this bloody loader. Oh! I thought that was game over then, eh? Nothing like a 30 foot drop to get the heart going, eh? <laughs> yeah, no opals worth that amount, eh? Cheers, boys, eh? Help me out there. Look, it definitely could have been worse. But yeah, we'll get them brakes fixed up and continue on. Ready, all right. Getting that dark room, fire her up. So we managed to get those brakes fixed on the loader. Now we're back at it, hoping for Opal to roll up on the belt again. Yeah, we've got to pull some Opal out of something. Kids are starving. Mrs. Cranky. Here in Anamooka, some patches of uh, level that we dig are actually quite wet. This thing's not designed for wet dirt, so it just bogs up the shaker. At the moment, nothing. Maybe the level's too muddy still and we can't see it, or maybe there's nothing in there. Nothing's coming through on the belt at the moment. I feel the shaker slowing down. I've got to see what's going on out there. The generator. Oh! <laughs> God damn! Is anything gonna go our way? What? Alternator snapped off the bracket. Buddy lost the belt. Everything. Far out. And that's air cool too, isn't it? Yeah. We just nearly cooked the journey. No belt on there means no fan, which means the engine got really hot. Well, at the end of the day, like it, it, this could put a whole halt to the open mining season.
So here we've got to check slowly around what we just dug because there might be some more here. We've got a big band of level and rocks here, bro. Yeah, running straight up in this wall. Big rocks in here, man. It's little rocks over here, but it's like, yeah, it's definitely not as thick as what you got over it's there. It's colour of ours, yeah. though, bro. Give us a look at that. Hold that, hang on. Oh, yeah, there's a big band and everything. Yeah. That's colour. <laughs> yeah! <Yeehaw! laughs> yeah, man. Oh, bro, look at that. Oh, wow! Killer, bro, killer. I think we just found our first good colour pocket, man. Oh, but after the week we've had, feels like I just had a big shit after a week of constipation. <laughs> <laughs> With team leader Lay for way buying machinery parts, it's up to Coza and Matt to rub their opal hall and maximise its value. Some big bloody chunks in here, man. Yeah, if only half of this comes up. Some good colour here. It's not huge stuff. Look at that, bro. That little chip there's got a red flash. Oh. So if we get this whole backside clean. Yeah, just give it a light grind and take that dirt off. Looking, bro. Not too bad, man. I'm getting a bit of a big broad flash. A little piece of honey. That's nice. Colour all through it. The Mooka boys have seam and concrete opal with flashes of blues, reds, and green. Partially rubbed, there's 28 grams of seam opal and 10 kilos of concrete. We got a lot of lot of material here, man. After 15 years of finding stones and selling them ourselves. We get pretty good at evaluating our own material. We'll easily get five grand an ounce for this opal. Yeah, what do you reckon is matrix? That's the stunner one here, really. Chuck it on the scales, man. Let's see what she's weighing, eh? 5.5 5 ounces. That's, you know, 100 bucks an ounce. That's sweet. Five grand of opal, 10 grand of concrete, and uh, bits and pieces. An easy 15, man. Not bad at all, bro, not bad at all. It's been one of the craziest weeks we've ever had opal mining. Coming up with 15 grand's worth is an awesome win. We're digging in the right spot. We're definitely happy. Good oh, week, man. Happy. Oh, yeah. <laughs>